as a person who's been in a toxic, many toxic relationships, I can honestly sit here and say that it's not that I deserved the treatment that I got, but it was a choice to suffer the way that I did. You have to be accountable for where your life is at. Nobody else is responsible for what the fuck is going on but you. What is appalling to me is that so many people will take familiar chaos over foreign happiness any day of the week. You want to stick to doing whatever the fuck you've been doing, whether that's with the same boyfriend, same job, but yet you want to sit around doing this. <laughs> you want to sit around and complain every fucking day. It comes a point as a friend for me when I start to see these cycles just looping, that is when I remove myself from the equation. Because anything that I tell you, that whatever information I can share with you, you're not ready to receive. Because you're not ready to be accountable. You're not ready to look at the root of the problem, which is yourself which is yourself. Like, <laughs> you want people to help you or to listen and be there for you, but you're not willing to see truth. You're not willing to call yourself out on your own bullshit. Until you're ready to try something different, then whatever you've been doing will continue. I'm nobody's parent, and I'm also not an enabler. So until you want to get better, like, why am I always the side chick? Why does my boyfriend cheat on me? Why are we this? Why, why are you accepting it? Why? Why don't you ask yourself why you're in this situation? Because you're the only person that really truly knows why. Even if it's on a subconscious level, you know the fuck why. If you're afraid of change, then sweetie, guess what? Buckle up and you're about to have a redundant ass life. I mean, there's nothing wrong with expressing your discomfort, expressing that you feel lost, expressing that, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm fucking doing. But there has to be a point where you're done bitching about whatever it is and now we are more solution-based. We are more progressively thinking. We suffer because we want to. And then we realize that suffering is unnecessary when we understand that we have the power to change our circumstances. It's, life is truly as simple as you will get whatever you are willing to accept. My life is a direct reflection of what I'm willing to accept. I am allowed to change whenever the fuck I want. If I want to rip and run and sit on dick to dick to dick to dick, bitch, I'm going to fucking do that. I'm allowed to do that. Okay? And guess what? After I sit on 50 land dicks, if I want to be in a relationship and I want to settle down with someone, I'm allowed to fucking do that. You are allowed to change your mind at any point in time, no matter what you've been through. Okay? You have that power. So I look at my life like if I am going car shopping. If I tell the car salesman, um, ideally I would like to trade in my car for 20. But if I can only get 10, I guess that's fine. So that whole first sentence about me wanting 20 doesn't matter because I've already said I will accept less than this. I am okay with accepting less than this. So the attitude I carry in my life is this is what the fuck I want and I'm not budging. So you're either going to give me this for 20 or I'm going to go down the street and they're going to give it for me, give it to me for fucking 20. Can you go, Ooh, I want to fight. <laughs> or they're going to give me, give it to me for 20. That is just how much I believe in myself. 
how much I respect myself, and how much I fucking love myself. That I love myself enough to confront me when I'm on fucking bullshit. And shit is fucking just looping. There are so many people in my life that I just see they're in this loop. You're in a loop. But yet you want to sit and complain. Nobody can save you but you. Even the greatest friend. A good friend. A real friend. Might listen to you. But at some point. They will distance themselves. They will start to see that your behavior is a choice. It's okay with being caught off guard. It's okay, it's okay with being confused and lost and it's your first time going through something. But let's focus on progression. If you do not want the best for you, I will not be giving you my time. I will never give up on someone as long as they're trying. But when I start to see that's just, that's your character. That's what you want to do. Like you're in this victim mentality. Like that is a hole you're going to have to dig yourself out of. So when it comes to my life, I don't play when it comes to me. I don't play when it comes to my respect. I don't play when it comes to what I want. And I certainly am not going to point the finger at anyone else but me when it comes to the reality of my circumstances.